He may just stand five foot six, but Preds fans will tell you that he always comes up big for Nashville. Doc Emmerich has the unlikely hockey story that is Rocco Grimaldi. Rocco Grimaldi, Nashville's number 23. You notice right away this California native is not very tall, five feet six, but he's really fast and extremely determined thanks to his upbringing. My parents are both retired police officers. My mom served about 20 years, my dad about 30. Really awesome to have parents like that that were so hardworking that were literally willing to put their lives on the line to provide for myself and for my sister. That's why I am who I am today. Born in Anaheim, his sports epiphany occurred at age four. My sister had a friend when they were in the sixth grade. We happened to play hockey. And so he asked my sister if she wanted to come watch him play. And so from the moment I, I saw the game, I was like, I love this and I want to, I want to play. We discovered that there was a, an ice hockey rink about five to 10 minutes from our house. And so I went over there and tried to ask, hey, is there anything for four and five year olds? And they said, no, the youngest we have is like nine and 10. My parents were like, that's perfect. <laughs> it was clear on these teams, he was the youngest, the smallest, but usually the best. Rocco's family had a decision to make. When I was 11 years old, we talked to all my different coaches that we respected, and they all told me it was time to go. There was nothing left for, for me in California. There just there wasn't enough competition. So all of them were like, you need to go to Michigan. It'll be the best for you to develop. It'll be the best for you to play against the best all the time. And so we're like, okay, we're gonna take that leap of faith and one of the best decisions we've ever made as a family. I don't know where I'd be if I didn't make that move. Michigan brought stronger competition and opened more doors. He was drafted 33rd overall by the Florida Panthers in 2011. Smaller player, but with the heart of a champion, Rocco Grimaldi is now a Florida Panther. But before taking on the bright lights, he made his mark at the University of North Dakota. Long shot, no goal! For UND. And the U.S. national team, scoring the winning goal in the World Junior Tournament gold medal game. Grimaldi spins it just in 2018, after Grimaldi had bounced between teams and leagues for four pro seasons, David Poyle, the winningest GM in NHL history, brought him to Nashville. Scores! Rocco Grimaldi! He can be a, a guy that literally get a breakaway every game if you can get him the puck. I mean, he's a guy that the, the crowd really responds to because of his size and because of his speed. In March, after a career-long scoring drought, Grimaldi took the ice in Nashville against Detroit for what would be an historic night. My line was playing well, and the puck just kept going in for whatever reason. And I remember after the first one was kind of like, oh, what a relief, finally. I, it finally went in. Second one was like, wow, that's crazy. I couldn't score in 15. I got two in five minutes. And also in the third was like, Okay, I don't know if this is real. Here's Grimaldi breaking in, looking for his fourth. He gets it! Rocco Grimaldi with a four-goal night. No NHL player five foot six had scored four goals in a game in over a quarter century. No American in over a hundred years. Strong-willed, resilient, and devout. Grimaldi had heard too small all of his 28 years. I was able to play against bigger kids my whole life. I mean, there's a picture of me when I was, I think, five years old playing against a 10 year old kid. And I think he was, I'm not even joking, a foot and a half or two feet taller than me. I was the smallest player on my team at every single level. And you kind of heard the whispers with the three voices that I've listened to are God's, myself, and the people close to me, like my family and friends. And so for me, I want to be able to be someone who can say, hey, it wasn't easy, but you can make it one day, and you know, that's something that I hope you remember by.